The front or head of a piercing tool experiences the majority of wear during operation. The reciprocating active head assembly increases production in tough soils when production with a non-reciprocating head falls below one foot per minute. Proper service of the head assembly helps protect the body from wear and maintains a superior level of production. The following tutorial is dedicated to the service of the head assembly of an active head hammerhead mold piercing tool. The hammerhead line of piercing tools includes three models with either a reciprocating or fixed head style. Reciprocating head models include the active head and the catamount designs. To identify the model, check to see if there are spanner wrench slots near the head assembly. If the tool has these slots incorporated into the body, it's a catamount model. Piercing tools that feature the catamount or replaceable head designs are not covered in this tutorial. Please refer to the training video that fits your tool model. First, secure the piercing tool. Perform a general inspection of the exterior of the tool. Start by inspecting the tool body. Check for cracks, severe wear, and damage from utility strikes. Replace the body assembly when necessary, as damage could lead to future failure. Before inspecting the head assembly, clean the head using a wire brush. Inspect the head assembly. Shown here is a new active head assembly with acceptable wear. Replacement may be required when moderate to severe wear is apparent. An active head consists of the front head, rear head, bit shaft, and seals. Not included in the kit is a set of hose clamps available at any local hardware store. Tooling is available from Hammerhead to simplify replacement of the active head assembly, including the front head socket and rear head wrench. When removing the old head assembly, use a socket wrench or two pipe wrenches to break the head apart. If necessary, grind the wrench flats on the front and rear heads. Unscrew the front head from the bit shaft. Remove the rear head. A screwdriver or Allen wrench may be used to hold the bit shaft in place while removing the head pieces. Slide the bit shaft into the body. Remove the bit shaft, being careful not to damage the internal body threads. Remove the head and bit shaft seals with a knife. Prepare the bit shaft and body for new seal installation by inspecting and cleaning the surfaces, paying special attention to the seal grooves and threads. Use a wire brush if necessary. Before installing the bit shaft seal, prepare the seal by warming and stretching the material. Place the bit shaft seal into the seal groove. Install the hose clamp around the seal and let set for at least two minutes. Repeat the bit shaft seal installation process with the head seal, leaving the clamp in place to set for at least two minutes. Prepare the bit shaft for installation by removing the hose clamp and applying anti seize to the non threaded surface. Install the bit shaft, being careful not to damage the internal body threads. Place the bit shaft in the body, slide it to the front, and pull it into place. Next, resecure the tool. Before installing the head, assure that the bit shaft is in the correct position by confirming that the recessed area is pulled through, as shown here. Remove the hose clamp from the head. Apply anti-seize to the head seal surface, bit shaft threads, and the mating surface of the rear head. Install the rear head by holding onto the bit shaft in a forward position. Hand tighten the rear head until it bottoms out against the bit shaft. Apply anti-seize to the mating surface and internal threads of the front head and thread it onto the bit shaft until it bottoms out.
At this point, there should be a gap between the front and rear heads. Keeping the front head in the same position, mate the head surfaces by threading the rear head counterclockwise to the front head. Complete the active head installation by placing the wrench and socket on the rear and front heads. Finally, using a torque wrench, torque the head assembly to the specifications located in the operator's manual. Following a regular service schedule will keep your hammerhead mole piercing tools running at maximum efficiency.